Welcome back to Earth from Space. The Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, where the Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite will soon launch from, is featured in this image captured by the Sentinel-2 mission. The area pictured here shows the Santa Barbara County in the southern region of the US state of California. Located around 200 kilometers northwest of Los Angeles, the county spans across 7,000 square kilometers and is bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the west and south. The county includes the coastal city of Santa Barbara, partially visible in the lower right of the image. Santa Barbara lies between the steeply rising Santa Inez Mountains, visible in dark green directly above, and the Pacific Ocean. The mountains rise dramatically behind the city, with several peaks exceeding 1,200 meters. Other mountain ranges in the county include the San Rafael Mountains, visible directly above, and the Sierra Madre Mountains. Most of the mountainous area is within Los Padres National Forest, California's second largest national forest. The county's most populous city is Santa Maria, visible in the top left of the image, surrounded by a patchwork of agricultural plots. Like many other cities in California, Santa Maria experiences a Mediterranean climate. Below Santa Maria lies the Vandenberg Air Force Base, visible along the coast. It is here where the Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite will launch from. A joint European-US satellite built to monitor sea levels, the satellite will lift atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on Saturday 21st of November. The satellite was named after Michael Freilich, the former NASA director who advocated for advancing satellite measurements, and will extend a nearly 30-year continuous data set on sea level. It will be the first ESA-developed satellite to be given a ride into space on the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Famously, Falcon 9 is partially reusable, unlike most rockets. Once in orbit above Earth, the Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite will collect sea level measurements for 95% of Earth's ice-free oceans. The data will be essential for climate science, policy making, and protecting those in low-lying regions, 